Welcome back to the channel everyone. In today's video, we are going to be showing you how to take apart and upgrade your Asus Tough Dash F15 notebook. But before we get started, I would love to thank Computer Upgrade King for lending this unit out to us so we can actually do this video for you. Computer Upgrade King is a custom PC builder where you can actually purchase high-end pre-built systems. But they don't only offer gaming PCs, they actually also sell notebooks for students and professionals. So whether you're looking for a computer for school, work, or gaming, they got you covered. If you want to take a look at more of their products, I'll post links down below in the description. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so what you're actually going to be needing for this is going to be an iFixit kit or just a screwdriver with size PH1 um, bit. We're going to go ahead and turn the system around. And we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 screws to take out. As I always recommend, make sure that you keep those screws um, exactly how you took them out. Um, the bottom right screw is not going to come out. Just keep that in mind and I'll show you that here. You're going to hear like a little click and that's as far as it goes. We're going to take out the bottom ones. And again, keep them in the same order that you took them out. Just lay them down on your table. That way, when you're ready to get, uh, put it back together, you're just um, um, putting them, putting the screws back where they were. And I will show you something here. This screw on the left, notice how this one is a lot smaller. So you don't want to get those mixed up because that could actually cause damage um, on this side if you put in a bigger screw. All right, we're going to continue all the way around and there we go all the screws are out all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick up a little spudger and we're going to go starting from the little crack where where the screw was we're going to work our way gently all the way across and then a little bit this way. All right, so now that we have a little bit of wiggle room, we're gonna go to the front. And push this way. There we go. And then for this front, make sure you kind of angle it that way to actually get in. And then this side right here, when you get to the corners, is actually going to be angled the opposite way. There we go. Let's work our way around the other side. And always be be gentle with it. Don't rush it. See how this way, this side I was angled this way. This side I'm going to be angled that way. There we go. We're going to go all the way to the other side again and try to get that side again. And I like to do these in real time so you, you can see what to actually expect. And um, a little bit of advice, use your finger to kind of keep that side open so it adds a little bit of pressure. And then that way it's not too hard to, for it to just pop out like this. All right. I'm going to go move on to the back. The back, the back you can actually, if you put pressure on the edge here and then with this hand, put pressure upward, the back actually just comes right out. See? Okay, so let's begin to see where everything is. This is going to be your battery here. Your SSD is actually going to be under this film and also your RAM. Um, what I do, I typically just slowly kind of work this down try not to rip it so you guys can see there was already like a little rip there um i'll go over here i think it might be a little bit easier this way the film's never going to be perfect like it was before right i mean you're kind of messing with it okay let me take that off 
And for safety reasons, we are going to unplug the battery. So um, that's just good practice. You're gonna push this up like that with your pick. And then use, using your nail and a pick, or if you have both of your nails, you're just gonna pop up. So that's just a little safety, uh, um, bit of advice that we tell everyone because it's it's better not to work on something that has power. All right, so RAM, RAM, and, and NVMe. Okay, uh, with the RAM, just like every uh, just like every other computer, we're gonna get these little two latches here, and then and then push outward, and it just comes right out. Boom, outward comes right out. There you go. With the SSD for this computer, which is here, we're gonna go ahead and unscrew the screw. All right, and this one actually has a little cover, a little neat cover that goes over it. I always like to put that back on the new NVMe that we're putting back. That's how you take it out. All right, and then when you're ready to put in your new stuff, which I don't actually have anything to put in this one, but it's, it's just to show you guys. Pop it back in, it's gonna be at an angle like that. And then we're gonna put this back on. If I can fit it, there we go. Get the screw. Make sure it's lined up, put it back in. And RAM sticks only go in one way. Remember the little notch, match the notch with the, with the, with the, with the uh, one on the board. And at an angle like this, push down, and then simply pop it down. Same thing with this one, it only goes in one way. As you, as you can tell from the notch, if we actually turn it the other way, the notch doesn't match up. So just keep that in mind, don't try to force it. All right, at an angle, you push in, one finger, down. It's already clipped in. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the battery. We're gonna, we're going to align it with the pins, just how, it's, how it was before. I'm at a bad angle here with the camera, but align it with the pins, we push down on it. Usually one finger, two fingers, doesn't matter. And always remember, take the little metal clip here and push it downward. That's what locks it in, all right? And don't forget to put your film back on. Um, it might not be important to you, but we like to put it back on. Keep it how it was. And again, this is never gonna be exactly the same because obviously we messed with it, right? All right. Now, back panel. Back panel goes back on. And now you like to start with the back of the computer. And let me actually zoom out first before we do that. And I like to start with the back of the computer here and then work my way down. Be very gentle, don't force anything. It should just all clip back on together. Now I'll work my way all the way around so we don't miss any of the clips. Same thing with the front. Actually, we're gonna go to the left side first to kind of follow the same rule. Then the front. All right, now that we've done that, and set it back down. And the first thing I like to do, so there's no pressure on here, is screw the bottom right screw back in all the way. which kind of gets rid of the gap. And that actually is really nice that they do that because it creates a gap for you so you don't have to keep stabbing your computer. So we're gonna go backwards. This one's already in. We're gonna go to the next one up above it. All right. And then last but not least, the middle screw. That one's a little longer than all the other ones, it seems, so don't mistake that uh, for any other ones. And we're good. All right, there you have it. That is actually how you take apart your computer or your Asus Tough Dash F15 and upgrade the RAM and the NVMe in it. Now, a little bit of advice. Um, when you actually change the RAM on the computer, um, it will take, on some systems, uh, this one was pretty quick, but it will take some time 
for it to boot. So you might be stuck on a black screen waiting for a minute or two. Definitely if you're going from eight gigs, which this has uh, up to let's say 32 or 64, it does take a little bit longer. The other thing that I want to talk to you about, just keep in mind when you're using a screwdriver, use pH one, uh, that way you don't strip any screws and you're only going to need a nice plastic pick. Don't use metal, never use metal because you can scratch the systems. If you like this video and it was very helpful to you or you think it's going to help somebody else, make sure you share and subscribe because it does help out the channel. And I again want to thank Computer Upgrade King for lending this system out to us so we can actually show you how to do this. And I'll actually have an Amazon link to this exact product off their webpage. So um, thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video.